Jancy's a kid and she doesn't know stuff, so she goes to her Gramps and he teaches her things. Gramps Garage, Gramps Garage, that's where he works now that he's retired. so early in oh, the morning. Gramps, I totally forgot I have a test today. What am I going to do? Run away. I'll help you pack. It's on Canadian history. History, eh? Oh, I remember that. Confederation, lame. Can you just call in sick for me? Well, I can tell you all about the Confederation. That's when Canada became a country. Uh, nah, that's okay. I remember it like it was yesterday. Listen up and pay attention as I tell you the story about how Canada came to be in all its wondrous glory. <laughs> the U.S. Civil War finished in 1865. The northern states had won and their army was upsized. Do you have anything to drink? Meanwhile, the British colonies feared Ooh. retaliation from the north because the British often traded with the South Confederate forces. Just like some juice or something? Are you paying attention? Yes. Sir John A. Macdonald wanted to unite the British North American colonies because everyone was afraid of invasion from the United States. But remember, there was also unrest within the newly united Upper and Lower Canadas. The two united Canadas were known as East and West, but the Union wasn't working and it became one hot sweet mess. On the first day of September in 1864, they met in Charlottetown to propose a different course. Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and, of course, Prince Edward Isle were invited to consider if uniting was worthwhile. Only one month later, they met again in Quebec City, this time with a blueprint to be debated by committee. That's the British North America Act? Lame. I'll make it better. <laughs> PEI dropped out and Newfoundland showed little interest, but the four remaining colonies set aside their difference. On the first day of July in 1867, although against all odds and even further from perfection, it happened on this continent that the BNA Act was passed and the new Dominion of Canada was finally born at last. So Canada West and Canada East became Ontario and Quebec. The other two provinces to join in Confederation were Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Got it? Huh? Johnny McDonald was scared of invasion. He thought about what he could do. And East and West Canada bickered and battled. They needed to get along too. Soon they all met in the Isle of Prince Edward where Anne of Green Gables a fact. In only a month after meeting again, they came up with the BNA Act. The things you learn in Gramps Garage are really pretty cool. The things you learn in Gramps Garage will help you win at school. With a little finagling, flipping and flopping, the provinces banged out this deal. On the 1st of July and a year long ago, the country began to congeal. Now we live in a country we're proud to call home. Canada is the best place. I hope you remember how it came together and say to your test in your face. <laughs> These things you learn in Gramps Garage are really pretty cool. The things you learn in Gramps Garage will help you win at school. Don't worry, hop in! 